Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Mandate of Heaven playing as Japan. Very happy Monday, as I say every week. New recording session, what were we doing last time? Alright, we're still fighting Hungary and Poland apparently. 51% war score here. Um, I do not recall what we said that we wanted from them. Let's take a quick look at the peace deal here and just sort of see. What would be a good peace out offer for us? Well, let's see. We start off with all of Turkey, obviously. That is just required. We could then try working our way up to creating the wall. Yes? Something like this wouldn't even be all that bad. This would allow us to take Constantinople for ourselves if we desire to. Just kind of keep the straits together and then create a wall like so. We'll end up having to fight... Uh, well, let's see. We're already fighting Russia. Never mind. I forgot about this. So we're fighting Russia as well. And we're doing this, I think, because we wanted to get into this before Scandinavia did, so that they can't ruin the wall, and then we get stuck with uh, borders with Scandinavia, because darsh gosh darn those Swedes, or Danish people, I guess, in this case, since the Danes actually did form Scandinavia. Either way, point is, point is, uh, I still want to be able to create this wall, so we'll probably have to fight Lithuania, but we could at least do this. This alone would be sufficient. Actually, we don't even need to do this technically, right? What we could do is actually just do these provinces here. Create a little tiny wall nation like this, right here, two little provinces, and that's it. That would probably be enough. But I kind of like the idea of having a giant wall that extends all the way down. Don't you think that sounds kind of fun? I think that sounds kind of fun. But maybe we should instead stick to this. We can create, I don't know, a new nation over here somewhere. Maybe we should recreate Greece, you know? Create Greece, let that be a little vassal march state right here and then create a separate wall that eventually goes through Poland, Lithuania, and Russia. Because remember, if I, if I just go along these borders right now, I'm basically trapping myself here and saying, this is as far as I want to go. But if I actually plan on eating a lot of Russia, that may not be a good option. Let's actually see what happens here. So if we start with this and say this here shall be the wall. Now well, let's see, how far can I go, actually? We could do something kind of like this. And then I take the rest of this land for myself, eventually. We'll have to fight down our way to Lithuania. Who's this over here? Is this Prussia? No, this is part of Scandinavia itself. Oh, interesting. We could do this. We'll have to fight Lithuania, work our way down. If that's the case, then we do want to take some land from Poland, starting at... Serkasi. I don't know. Something over here, just under Kiev. Right. That would be okay. Yes, and then the only state we'll be boarded up against right now would be Lithuania. This seems um, relatively okay to me. So why can't I get this? Is it because it's not sieged down? It is. If it's not sieged down and Poland is not the war leader, which they are not, then I can't demand it. So we're going to have to siege that down. First and foremost, let's deal with the rest of these forts. We'll take this kind of slow. I'm going to go down to speed four for a little bit because we're fighting a lot of people. Scandinavia is no longer a rival to Russia. Colombian separatists have fired somewhere. Okay. That's fine. You. I mean, you. Go kill. Now, I still own this land, and we're going to have to create a proper new colonial nation down here. Gosh dang it, I did forget. I did forget to check and see if anyone had any suggestions for a new name for Japanese Peru. And eh, maybe I'll do that in between the next video. It's fine. It's fine. What are you worried about? What are you worried about? Do we want to raise war taxes again? Nah, let's keep our power this time. We don't need to keep doing that. Can we get to this fort? Absolutely, freaking lootly we can. Okay, go here, I guess. So Hungary has a few troops over here. Just a few. Oops. They fired in the same spot! That's cheating! <laughs> How'd they do that? <laughs> I want to know. How, how, how did you do that? How did you both fire in the exact same province, the same type of separatist twice in a row? That seems like cheating. But okay. Alright. Okay. We're going we're gonna to carpet siege the crap down on Russia. Maybe we peace out with Russia before we peace out with Hungary. I don't know yet. I don't like the fact that Russia has 80,000 troops over here. I don't know. We'll kind of see whichever, whichever one we, we kill first. We're going to have to deal with the other for a few years while we core stuff up, you know? Oops. Mapuchi. Oops. Well, say goodbye to Toshi, to, Tohoshi. Taihiyu, Taihiyu Naman. Never mind. Hey, Moonster's still down there. I forgot that they were in Argentina. Ha ha. All right. Well, we managed to kill these losers in the Galapagos Islands, so that's good. About to have to go fight these losers, too. Hello. 
Come on. Okay, that should be an easy squish. Yeah, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Poland wants out. We could separate peace out with Poland. Don't forget, that is also an option. If I wanted to sue for peace with them and do, let's say, this... They'd be okay with it, surprisingly. Well, mostly. Okay, maybe not entirely, but I could do something. I could do something. Let's see. I'd be able to keep these two provinces for myself, probably. I'll take Crimea from Russia. That might be better. That said, the one thing I'm worried about here is that I don't... I don't think I can create a new client state. First off, not while we're at war, so I'd have to spend the money and court it myself. And two, it's in Europe, technically, not in Asia. So I'm not sure we're allowed to create a client state unless I start from down here where I have adjacency. I'm not sure yet. The rules here are going to be a little bit weird. Very weird, in fact. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out one way or another. All right, let's get these guys transferred back over here. What's up here? Oh, just the Russian Navy. Don't care about that. Okay, all of you guys. Yes, all of you. You're going to go here. Go here, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, here, and here, and here. Whoop, can't go there. Here, and here. Okay, this 32,000 shall go to. Novgorod? Sure. You go to Pskov. Can't go to Pskov, never mind. You go to Vladimir. Because Vladimir is an awesome name. And you go to, uh. I don't know, Ryazan. Let's see. Russia's still wandering around down here trying to siege stuff, and I don't like that not much at all. Gosh, and Rockham Ross sieged all this land from Russia. I don't think I like that either. Hmm. Well, until... Ah, oh gosh, there's just enough troops around here to make me very uncomfortable. I want to get rid of one of these wars. I really do. Oh, uh, before I forget, one thing I was thinking in between videos. Uh, so basically to say over the weekend. Um, we no longer have any heretics, I don't think. I take a look at the religion here. Wow, we're looking freaking solid as heck, aren't we? So yeah, I think all the heretics of the Eastern religion groups are officially gone. That means the Buddhists, the uh, Confucians, uh, and whatever the couple other ones were down here that I don't remember. I don't think Tengri counts as a heretic. I know that uh, Shia and Orthodox and stuff do not. Hindu, I think, is its own separate thing. Hindu and Sikh are their own two separate religions. So I'm pretty sure, at this point, we don't need a particular policy anymore. Why am I... Specifying heretics so much because there's actually two different uh, classifications of non, well, non-primary religious people, right? The primary religion of Japan is Shinto, and then there are, Shinto is a part of the Eastern religion group. So everyone who's a part of that same group is a heretic. That is to say, they're almost believing the same things we do, but not quite enough. So we kind of hate them, not as much as we do the heathens, which is everyone who is not in the Eastern tech, uh, religion group. So, the reason that matters is because we have this right here, the Anti-Heresy Act, which gave us an extra 3% missionary strength versus heretics. If all the heretics are gone, this does nothing for me anymore. Literally does nothing. It will not help us uh, convert the Hindus or the Catholics or anyone faster. So, at this point, I think we actually should get rid of that policy. The only other thing that it's doing for us is 20% unity for one military power per month. I don't think that's good enough. What we actually should do is get rid of this and put place a new policy. And we don't have any vassals. I don't, I don't, I mean, the shock is okay, but I don't know if I care that much about it. Fort maintenance, no. Land force limit, no, no, no. No, culture conversion costs, eh, I don't know if I'm ever going to have quite that much power available. What we could do is actually go to the policy of calculated delay, which gives me plus one missionary strength for all the other groups. And it also keeps my religious unity up. And I'm going to go ahead and pass that. It's going to cost me one admin power per month. But what this does is it ensures that we stay at 100% religious unity, which means that uh, I do not have any issues with my absolutism, nor do I get any extra unrest. So, now we should see that everything becomes a bit faster. Which is great. I like that. Um, we'll just use that instead. So yeah, I'm glad I thought of that. But cool! We actually converted all the heretics! Now if we can just get rid of the rest of these Tengri, this whole place will be Shinto. It's gonna be awesome. But now we're working on the freaking Catholics all over those islands we took from Spain. I guess that's something we'll have to do. Stop trying to take my islands! Not, I'm sorry, not islands. Forts! I know I'm trying to take your forts, what of it? What are you going to do? He might come kill me is what he's going to do, and that scares me a lot. Hmm. 
How best to do all this? Gotcha, Rock and Ross fighting Russia. Go get them. Wow, they won. What do you freaking know? That's weird. I never see things like that happen. Anyway. Do, 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 do. What else is there to talk about right now? You know, one thing I guess I could talk about real quick is uh, I know a lot of people have been curious what I'm going to play in my next EU4 series, if I do one at all, and it's looking like I probably will. There's definitely been enough of an interest thus far, people are asking, for me to continue playing this game, um, even though the next expansion has not been released and probably will not be released for a while. And that's fine by me, but a lot of people have been wondering, well, what's this mystery nation you said you wanted to play as? Uh, and I did reveal it in a stream not too long ago, so I guess I might as well reveal it now. The nation that I have been thinking of playing is Moravia. Because that was just recently added into the game. Now, you can't see it anywhere here right now. This is... this is Prague. Yeah, you can't see it anywhere. I think their course may have been revoked somewhere. No, that's Nitra. Or Nitra, whatever. Anyway, Moravia is a new nation that was added in with Mandate of Heaven. A brand new nation. And basically, it starts off completely occupied by Bohemia. There's a couple of provinces, I don't know where they are, I think they're like over here or something like that, that uh, have a um, Moravian core. And what you can do is you can start playing as Bohemia and then release the nation and play as a vassal of Bohemia as Moravia. You may have remembered Moravia from uh, Crusader Kings 2. Great Moravia? Yeah, it's not its not in the game uh, in EU4, but now it is. And in this expansion, it specifically was added in. It doesn't have any special national ideas. You'll be playing as a two-province, very minor nation, starting as a vassal in the Holy Roman Empire. I thought that could be kind of fun. Reason being, I don't want to play as a Russian nation. I know I saw some suggestions as to what I could do to play as Russia, and... I mean, it, it's, it's a good idea, right? Playing as Russia in the Third Rome era of the game makes some sense, it really does. But I've already done it. So, I don't think I want to play as a Russian nation or try to finagle my way into creating a Russian nation just for that playthrough. Just doesn't really excite me that much. Um, instead, I could finally play as an HRE member. I haven't done that yet, and that could be kind of fun. And in the meantime, it also gives us a chance to kind of have a little uh, short series. I don't know when Paradox releases their next expansion. They haven't announced it yet. So, it lets me kind of do a very casual series that's not super high stakes. Because, well... It's just Moravia, it's not a huge deal. And if I have to end the series early, it's not a big deal. As opposed to, as opposed to, a lot of people were asking for me to play as, let's say, a Native American nation. Maybe in Central America, play as like the Aztecs or something like that. And that would be kind of fun. The only reason I haven't is because I'm trying to play uh, thematically appropriate nations for every expansion. But depending on what the next expansion is, that could be kind of fun to do. The problem is, if I start one now, well, what happens if the series isn't done by the time the next expansion comes out? Now I'm kind of stuck. I want to take that series all the way to the end, if I'm going to play as a Native American nation, from beginning to end. Whereas if I started that now, I'd kind of have to stop partway through. With Moravia, we could try playing the HRE game, and if the expansion does come out before I'm able to get very far, it's alright. It's not a huge deal. We'll be A-O-freaking-K. So that's kind of been my thought. Uh, looks like we won more sieges. Okay, let's go back to Lublin which is the capital of Poland, apparently, in this particular game. Hey, Cossacks! Kill the Cossacks! Cossacks are dead. There we go. Easy enough. Can you catch this guy? You totally can. You go here. So, who do we, who do we peace out with first? Maybe we peace out with Russia first. But that will give me borders with Scandinavia, at least until all the wars are done. Honestly, what you need to do is finish all the wars at once. I guess it does make more sense to finish with Hungary first. Uh, we still have a fort over here. If we work on Poland's capital, I think we could get that. We need to stomp down their army, though. If I can't take down their army pretty soon, we're, we're just asking for trouble. So let's see if we can find them somewhere. Still working on that Panama Canal, by the way. Hello, Hungary. What do you think you're doing there, buddy? That's right, you go here. You want to go into the hills? We could catch you in the hills. Hang on a second. Force March. Force March. Mm, let's wait until he gets locked. I'm going to take him on. I know he's going into the hills, which is defensive terrain. But I want to catch him. I want to make sure we can have an opportunity to grab this army before the 40,000 Poles get involved. All right, here he comes. Here we go. Let's jump into this fight. We have pretty good numbers going in, uh, 45,000 his 68, with a much better general and many, many reinforcements on the way. 
Now granted, he's probably going to try to reinforce with this. The question is, is Poland going to reinforce? And if not, so much the better for me. Alright, so here goes the fight. Let's see, we still have significantly better discipline and morale and some tactics advantage. So the uh, reinforcement should mean that we just straight up win this fight. If he wants to bring these reinforcements in to die, I'm okay with that. We won the Siege of Lublin already. Alright, that was nice and fast. Uh, go to this fort. Potol, pot, potol, potol, potole. I don't know. Just go kill the Hungarians. There we go. Problem solved. Can we catch them if we... Where are they retreating? No idea where they're retreating. Let's go kill the Poles before they can take another fort down. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of attrition. What of it? Kill the Poles. Fill the coals. Siege Piscov. Dun, dun, dun. Good enough for me. All right, you guys go here. Let's see. You go here. You go here. You join up. You go here, you go here. Now here's Russia's army at 42,000. Okay. Still working on that fort, not making a lot of progress. I don't see the rest of their army. Gosh, and Rock and Ra might have stack wiped them, actually. Which is excellent, if so. Where are you going? Gosh dang it. Retreated too far away. Couldn't do anything about that. Hey, we stack wiped Poland! Well, that sure makes things easier. All right, let's have everyone jump on this. Catch these losers. It's cost me no power, so we can chase armies down with impunity. It's amazing. I like this trick. It's great. All right, let's go ahead and turn off that force march, though. Let these guys reinforce properly. And we'll take the guy with the general. He'll go here. He'll go here. Siege his stuff down. May want to get some reinforcements nearby. I'm a little concerned. A little concerned that he might be in a dangerous spot. A gift from Cyprus, because they're kind-hearted. They foolishly gave me free money. Ha! What are you thinking? All right, where's the rest of these Tengri? There's one. Convert those guys. I don't like that the Tengri are still a thing. I want proper Shinto. Wow, that was fast as heck. Okay. Split, split, split. Split, split. 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 Anyway, hope it made a lot of sense with the whole Moravia thing. That's just what I'm thinking would be kind of fun. It lets us play in the Roman Empire. We're not playing as Russia in the Third Rome expansion, but we are playing in a different kind of Rome. You know what I mean? It's just, it's the kind of the closest I think I'm able to get right now. Oh, lordy lord, Scandinavian revolutionaries, we avoid you like the plague. Go somewhere else. No, no, Scandinavians go home. By all means, start a revolution. It's fine by me if you do that. I really don't... I don't care what you do. You know? Your body, your choice. I, I don't care. But, I don't want you getting involved with me. Uh, stop sieging down your capital, dang it. Alright, that's it. We gotta, we gotta go kill. We gotta go kill him. Um, I need to get a general in charge here, though. Let's see. You'll do fine. Force march. Go kill him in his capital. In pest. Oh, hello. The Poles are trying to train up some more men. They are all going to die. Hello. We finished a bunch of cores. I forgot that I was even doing a bunch of cores. Let me guess. This means I'm going to create a new colonial nation. I certainly think that it means that. Good. I hope this doesn't interrupt my progress of the uh, Panama Canal. So let's see. About to fight this fight. We have a lot of fights going on at the same time right now. Okay, is that stack white? Holy crap, it was. Ah! Okay, say goodbye, Hungarians. Let's see, what fort level is this? Level one? Oh, pah. Oh, pah. Okay, go down here. We're just going to siege down forts at this point. Actually, no, hang on. Go here. We're going to have to do some carpet sieging so he doesn't train up reinforcements. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, hey, look. Japanese Columbia. New colonial nation for me. It's my birthday. Not yet. We'll be relatively soon, but not yet. Okay, hang on. We're gonna go here, 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 here. There we go. Carpet siege. Go to Moldavia. Go to here. Nope, I guess not. Go there instead. Okay, we do need to be cautious with all the Russians over here. I think we can probably handle that, right? Do we have like a big stack sitting over here? Yes, we do. You go down, let's say, here for now. Just kind of keep them away. 
I don't feel like dealing with those Russians. Do you feel like dealing with those Russians? I didn't think so. Okay. Well, this should be easy then. Very easy now, actually. Poland's dead. Glory to us. Gain five prestige. Anyone I want to placate? Actually, we're doing amazingly well when it comes to um, Liberty Desire. Why? Did something get rebalanced? Because this is very, very low. Shockingly low, in fact. Let's um, placate Taihiyu Naman. There you go. And gain some prestige. Okay, we won the Siege of Pest again. Okay, so now we're seeing an 82% war score. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So here's the deal. Oh, shoot. This is going to be really tough, isn't it? <laughs> I'm in a remarkably awkward position right now because I started the second war with Russia. So here's what I'm going to have to do. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to separate peace out with Poland, take the land to build the wall. Then I'm going to peace out with Hungary, take the rest of the land that I wanted, plus the land to build the wall. Then I'm going to have to sit back and core this land that I care about. And once that's... And not core the rest of the land. So it's going to sit here overextended for a while. Once that's done, then I will peace out with Russia. <laughs> create a client state with the uncored provinces. And then core the rest of Russia. Good lord, this is going to get complicated, but okay. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen, by God. I've only got so many years left in the game. We have to be creative, right? <laughs> Alright, we won that siege. Good. Um, kill the rest of the Hungarians, I guess. Oops. Shoot. Broke that siege. Sorry! Cyprus is a pirate haven. They just gave me money. They're kind-hearted. How could they betray me like this? Nobody knows. Okay. Okay! <laughs> this is nuts. This is gonna be- this is gonna be needlessly complicated. There's no doubt about it, but... It's fine. We'll- we'll find a way to make it work. In the meantime, keep converting those Tengri. <sighs> Wish that overextension wasn't a problem. Urbanization. Wow, gain a lot of base tax. That's nice. Alright, sure, why not? We got the money. We have the technology. Let's do it. All of you guys, go to Crimea. You too. Go to, Crim go to Crimea. Let's see. I'm trying to siege a lot of this stuff down. You need to go here. You need to go here. 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 I guess we could try to just jump on Russia's army so that they're not a threat while we wait. And we actually have the advantage of the steps with a fort right now, so yeah, we definitely should do that. Especially since we have a super general. Alright guys, go jump on the Russians. We're gonna get the defensive terrain. Makes it very easy to go squish, squish, squish. And squish, squish, squish. Okay, there we go. And they are stack wiped. Canal in Japanese Columbia delayed. Gosh dang it! Our subject, Japanese Columbia, has sent word that the canal construction has been delayed. Interesting. So it's still being built, but now technically they're responsible for its construction process? Fascinating. I actually did not know that that was a thing. That is interesting, though. Right? Okay. Anyway. Anyway. So, we're pretty much done here. So let's talk to Poland first. So he wanted to take all of this, apparently. Which is fine. And what I'm going to do then is... Well, let's see. I could take a bit more than this. I have to be careful not to overextend myself. So this is 28.1% overextension. And this is even more. Okay, can't quite go that far. We have to do that. Uh, this is a problem. Okay, I can't quite take this much land. Not that one. That's 18.2%. That's still too much by 0.6. I could leave them with a single province over here and probably take it into the future war if I want to. And that's okay, I guess. Um... Unless I didn't want to take this. But then I would have technically a canal straight border with a Hungarian province. So I have to take that. Eh. 
The problem is now, pretty much no matter how I cut this, I'm going to have borders with Poland. Unless I didn't take that. We can make the board, the wall snake up this way instead a little bit. That would probably be okay. Yes. Yes, it would. Okay, so these are the peace deals that I'm going to have to go for then. A little complicated, isn't it? <laughs> Revoke the cores of Bohemia? Nah. An old alliance with Hungary, please. Also Lithuania. Also Riga. I don't care about the knights, really. War reps? You can't give me much else. Yeah, all right, fine. We'll have you revoke that. That's fine. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with Poland then. So let's piece them out. Make sure I don't have any overextension. I don't. Okay. Trying to pay attention here. So that's what we're going to do. Skadoosh. There goes Poland. Now, I'm not coring this, 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 or this, but I am coring this. It's going to take 25 months. Okay. And now, now we talk to Hungary. Uh, I have you know your treaties with, let's say, Munster. Uh, I don't care about Austria. You can have that. The rivalries are fine. No returning of cores. I can't take any more lands because then I'll be overextended. We'll take your money. You got a fair bit of it, actually. Uh, I could spend power to have you return cores to people, but I, I really don't think I care. I can enforce military access with them. That could be fun. But no, we're not going to do that. Release nations? Release Albania. Eh. Release Croatia. Eh. I mean, it's an option if we wanted to spend some power. Hello, Transylvania. Release the vampires! No, sorry, what? Romania. Ottomans. Down here. Don't care about that. Greece? There's a thing. We could release Greece for good measure. Just for the heck of it. Because it's Greece. Should we do that? Yeah, sure, why not? It's going to cost me 36 power, but what of it? Greece doesn't get into games often enough. Okay, we're done with that as well. Say goodbye to Hungary. Skidoosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm not coring any of these, but I am going to core up Constantinople. This shall be mine. Uh, this shall be mine. Oh gosh, I have to find all the provinces. I can't just go clicking through here. Coring everything, because not everything is something I actually want to core. This is so unbelievably complex. Okay, it's not. It's very simple, but it's also very annoying. Okay, this is new. This is new. This is new. Good. Good. Okay, so we should be solid, right? think so. Now these we have to leave. I don't want to core them. We want to release a new nation. I mean, don't get me wrong, I could just core them anyway. I could do that, I'm just going to spend the power releasing it all later. You know what? To be safe, I'm going to core these as well. Just to be safe. Just in case whatever deal I have with Russia is going to make overextension even worse. Knowing that I'm probably wasting that power, let's just give myself a little flexibility on the off chance that I need it. Okay? Okay. In the meantime, everyone who is over here, get out of here. Everyone, get in here! A little bit of a little bit of Hearthstone humor for those of you who don't know you pleb. All right, let's get in there. So Russia's dead. Now we just have to sit on them for two years. That's the plan. Okie doke. Uh, gosh, I'm Rock and Ross probably gonna take some stuff. That's fine. They are welcome to do so. Go siege this down. I don't want them taking my land and creating devastation that ruins my mandate. Okay. So, those two, Silistria, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, those are all correct. Okay, I know that we're good. I know that we're good. <laughs> this is gaming it a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It is. But, if it works, then what do you care? Intercolonial trade, mercantilism. Sure. 
We've won the Siege of Crimea. That was easy. Go here, go here, and Russia will be full occupied, and that will be the end of Russia. Okay, good. So all we have to do then is wait for Grasham Rockerma to end their war. Yao sends a gift because they are a naive enthusiast. They are naive about my intentions. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Okay, good. Uh, George the First of Austria is the new emperor. What dynasty is on the throne over here anyway? Oh, it is a von Habsburg. Oh, there's a von Habsburg in um, Austria and in Spain. And von de Schau. That's an interesting dynasty to be on the throne of Great Britain. There's a lot of Vons. Von Hohenzollern. Lots of Vons across the, 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 the room here. All right, well, that's fine. Anyway, so that's the end of that. So now we sit on this for two years. Once it's done, we peace out with Russia, hand all this off to a client state, start working on the wall. We'll have to kill Lithuania to finish said wall. But that should be a heck of a lot easier. I can handle with the borders with Lithuania. That's fine. That's just freaking fine. It's going to be a little awkward, but we can handle it. Okie dokie do. Because uh, Caspian, can't an I, can I can annex you soon. We need to annex these guys. Okay, we'll start that process, and we also need to kill Taberistan. That is the plan. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. A little bit hectic, but we're making it work. We're finding our way. <laughs> if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.